Hi, for my capstone analysis, I will be uh, analyzing this historical painting from a Russian artist named uh, Kazimir Melevich. Uh, now, normally history is a very uh, reading and writing intensive discipline, but I thought it'd be more fun to look at a, an art piece just so we can uh, see what we can get out of it. So, um, starting off, we we can see here that this is entitled Girls in a Field. It's published in 1928-1929, and uh, with that, uh, we can immediately put this in the time period of uh, what 1929 Russia was like. So by then, the Russian Revolution and the Russian Civil War had already ended, uh, ending in a communist victory. So this is mo this painting is most likely set in uh, communist Russia. So what? can we get out of this? Does the artist support the uh, communist cause or does he criticizing it? Um, so obviously, uh, looking at the painting here, uh, is a very strange uh, picture that the, the artist has painted. Everything, all the colors are very clashing. They're all very disjointed. Um, not, specifically, none of the girls have any actual faces on them. There's no features on their on, on any of their bodies. It's just a, a clash of colors. So um, just from that, we can already tell that um, specifically like the, the split faces I, I find to be um, particularly interesting alongside these this kind of divide in their uh, torso and the skirt. Um, so what we can interpret from this is that the the chaos that has been caused by the um, maybe the communist uh, revolution and the and the Russian civil war has caused a kind of uh, mixing of identity. People don't really know what they they are anymore because so much has changed so quick. You know, um, you're not able to get a, a solid feel of what it 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 is to be Russian, what it is to be a human. Uh, so I think the the second most important part of this painting is that uh, the the field that the girls are actually in are uh, it has the same issues as the girls. The, all the colors are very disjointed. None of them go together. They're all clashing, and I think that kind of symbolizes a um, a loss of um, a way of life that was before, you know, um, accompanying this uh, this destruction of an identity. So I think with with these two uh, very important factors. I think that Melovich is uh, criticizing the, the, the Bolshevik uh, cause rather than supporting it. And um, yeah, I think this painting uh, is, is a very interesting kind of look of how you can interpret history through art rather than, you know, the traditional text. This is uh, something that my, my teacher, uh, my professor actually did in, in our uh, Russian history class. At the end of a lecture, she showed this uh, painting in order to just have the students rattle off some thoughts. What do they think? Because I think when you do look at this without knowing the historical context behind it, um, you just do kind of think that this is just a weird painting of some people in a weird background. But I think with uh, understanding the historical background time period that this was painted in, I think we start to see a whole entire different messaging behind it. And I think... Um, you know, nowadays we have the whole entire modern, is modern art actually art discussion. I think this is a important look as to how important the the skills that you learn from uh, being within the social studies and, and specifically history um, discipline kind of applies to how you look at certain things. And I just thought that was a really interesting way to kind of analyze this.